Hi guys, in previous video we implement the product detail. So in this video we are going to implement this uh, order review. Okay, so now you see here this is the review and here is the uh, first we need to log in for the review. So I am going to log in. So now I am going to enter the username and password and then sign in. And then again I am going to our shop. And then I am going to simply go to the any product. And now see here I am writing here the review. Um, I like. I like this pizza. I am going to write this um, uh, our review. And I am going to click on this board. So now see here, here is the two review, it's alignment is changed. Okay, we will fix this in a video. So this is the, uh, so in this video, we are going to implement this, the add review form here. And also we are going to show here all the reviews and a list. So let's get started and implement the add review and the review part of this product detail. So let's get start. Open your browser and go to the Codedilia shop blogspot and then go to the online restaurant website and then click on this online restaurant website part 30 product writing. So I'm going to click this here. Uh, here first we are going to change the table of the review. So first we are going to open database and delete the order review table and recreate the table for the, the review the name on the name stock item review table to store product review. So here is the how to drop the table of the order review table and then how to create the stock item review table. So this is the code of the stock item review table. So now open the SQL server and go to the database. So now click on the pizza restaurant DV. And now see here, uh, here is the order review table. So first we are going to delete this table. So now select the database, go to the new query and go to the blog and copy the code. I'm going to paste the code here. So first we need to drop the existing table or the review. So now I'm going to select and then execute. So the table is deleted, dropped. Next, we are going to create the table on stock item review table. Here is this is the primary key of this table. Okay, I'm going to create here the uh, uh, primary key. Okay, so now add this. And next is the stock item ID, the item actual uh, inside in the uh, stock item table. So there is the actual ID of the item and this is the user review user and this is the review date time. This is the rating and this is the review detail and this type is in virtual and the length is maximum. So that's it. So I'm going to create this table. The next open your project and uh, go to the solution explorer and go to the database layer and click on your and on the uh, data on the entity data model. So once the entity data model opens successfully, then simply go to here and uh, delete the, uh, that table. So I'm going to delete the order review table. Okay. So now find uh, out that this is the order review table. Okay. This one. So I'm going to delete this table from the uh, delete from model. Okay. So that is deleted. The next. Uh, I'm going to add the table, but first we need to save these changes. Right click and uh, update model from database and 
you know, wait for retrieving database information. We need to click here and add this stock item will be there. So I now finish. Okay, now simply I'm going to save the changes. So now go to the solution explorer, click here, and here is the stock item review tab. Okay, so that's done. The next we are going to update the model of the item detail MV. Here we need here we add some attributes. So now go to the blog and here we need the properties. Uh, below here first we going to add the class below here inside in this namespace dot model okay and then here we need these two properties uh, which one for the writing list and this is for the writing so now add So now that is done. Now add the namespace. And here populate this list. And so the populate code is this one. Here is the type is the ID 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. This is the writing number and this is the writing number value, which is the type rust bad neutral good and excellent okay so this is the review writing okay so now copy and add inside in this constructor so that is it so now save the changes and close this so next we are going to go to the home controller and inside in the home controller go to this product detail here we first we set f this item id is equal to equal to null or zero then go to by default go to the home index page means not open this page because here we are getting the error so that's why we are we are going to redirect to the home index page automatically so now i'm going to block and now see here is the this setting and then below this the item detail uh, below this object assign this stock item id to this and the next we are getting the detail of the current user uh, on the current item review here so now copy i'm going to copy this code all and select this code and paste so here we need uh, add the stock item id and name so now go to the blog and uh, copy here okay now copy all these and Again, replace on the item detail MV and add paste here all these properties. Okay, so now that is done. So now go to the home controller. Okay, so now that is done. The next we are going to add here some uh, review changes order item uh, order review table some update code so the code is already in blog so now go to the blog here is the stock item review table okay uh, so now i'm going to copy this code and then we will discuss so now select from this review from here and now paste total here okay so from before getting a ingredients so no paste okay uh, that is done so now here uh, this is the table where the item reviews is stored uh, the name is stock item review table and this is the item id by this item id we will get the uh, item reviews list and then one by one we will get uh, by using the for each loop and get the score of the writing uh, and also we will calculate and here is the user details here is the user photo and this is the day the days of the reviews uh, and this is the uh, review detail to add to this uh, list of the reviews
property of the item detail MV. Uh, and here is the calculate the uh, final rating average of the item. Here is the item and then the rating. So that is done. Uh, and this is the your ingredients getting related items. So that is done. Uh, the next we are going to add some uh, post method of this uh, product uh, product detail view so this is the post method by this post method we will get the customer review and also update the customer review so i'm going to copy simply this code and add to this home controller and then we will discuss okay so i'm going to copy and then simply scroll down and paste below this method so that is done uh, so this is the post method of the product detail here is the model of the view and here is the checking if the user is login if not login then default go to the home index uh, and here is the user id of the current user login mean getting from the session of the user here is the stock item review table and check if on this item if the user have already reviewed then get it and update the existing review if not so then add the review of the uh, new review on the item and here is the uh, once all these step is done then redirect to the product detail on this stock item id so that is done so the next we are going to the, the view and we will do some some changes inside in this uh, view so go to view save the changes and now scroll first uh, we are doing some changes inside and in, uh, okay now scroll here this is the here we are going to show the product writing okay so now go to the blog and first we are going to add some uh, css style sheet to the uh, layout page so i'm going to copy this and then go to the layout page and now add here okay and this is actually for this is actually for designing the uh, product product writing star style sheet okay so that's done the then go to the product detail and simply copy this code from dev okay to dev now copy and paste replace on this code so here you will see here is the rating if the rating is five then show the five stars and the color is orange the next if the rating is four then show the four star is orange color and the one is the on black if star is three then show the three star orange and two is black f2 the rating show the two star is orange and three is black f1 show the one star f0 all the star will be black okay so this is the writing show with the show with each product the next we are going to add here the form which is getting review from the customer and submit to the database so go to the blog and copy the code of this tab which is the tab add so here is the tab add so i am going to copy this code of tab add so now copy all the code and then we will discuss so now i'm going to copy and then replace on this step so that is done now simply control k control d and realign the code okay now see here here is first we are going to uh, check if the user is login then this form will be show if user is not login then simply show here first login here okay once the user click here the login form will form will be open if the user is login then this form will be show 
this is the post method of this begin form and that is the controller where the uh, model will be post so here is first is the name of the user the second is the email of the user and here is the review of the user and this is the writing list and this is the submit button so i'm going to save all these changes and run the application okay so here uh, okay i'm going to here and do seeing some changes here stop the application and now mark is uh, is in the label okay so that is it okay let's run the application okay so now go to the our shop and uh, click on the item and now scroll and here i'm going to click on first login here and click on sign in and then go to the our shop and go to the any product okay i'm going to click on this one and uh, now you click here then you will get the form here here is the user this is the email of the user here i am writing the review is i like this pizza okay and i am should the um, my review is a good so i'm going to submit so here you will see here the review is showing here i'm going to update this review so now you will simply go to the add review and now you will see your review is already here so i'm going to simply click on the neutral okay so now you will submit the review will be updated now you will see here so if you like the video please subscribe to the YouTube channel